So the first thing we're going to need to do is install some programs. The first one we're going to install, of course, is going to be KeyShot. You can just Google KeyShot for ZBrush or go to KeyShot.com, Features Integration ZBrush. And once you get there, what you can do is you can download and try it. Just click the Windows or Mac OS, whichever one you're going to use. And if you scroll down, you're going to see you can choose from HD or Pro. We're going to go over the HD and Pro features in just a minute. Uh, but if you want to, you can purchase them here. If you are upgrading, you're going to want to go down here to the Pixelogic.com My Licenses, log in, and then upgrade through that portal. You're also going to need to install the ZBrush to KeyShot Bridge, which we'll get to in just a second. But first, go ahead, download KeyShot, install it, and then we'll talk about activating your bridge. If you want to purchase the bridge, you can purchase it through here, which will take you to ZBrush's website. Or, I'm sorry, Pixelogic's website. And then, of course, once this is all set up, we'll be able to hop seamlessly between ZBrush and KeyShot. Now, like I mentioned before, there is two versions. There's HD and the uh, KeyShot 7 Pro. So I'm going to go over here to the product comparison. So here's the KeyShot.com product comparison. And why I what I have over here is KeyShot Pro highlighted. And then KeyShot HD is right in here next to it. So if you scroll down, you're going to see that all of these checkboxes are all the same all the way down through here. And this is the basic stuff like materials, the ability to bring in models from ZBrush to KeyShot, unlimited resolution, you've got access to the cloud library, real-time ray tracing, again more basal, basic stuff, image textures, procedural textures, label materials, camera stuff like depth of field, unlimited real-time resolution like I mentioned before, unlimited output resolution which is nice, you can customize your user, user interface and your custom hotkey as well. Now when we get down here we're gonna see this is where the HD stops and the Pro continues and I, I don't use every ver or every aspect of Pro but there is a lot of stuff in here that's important to me so that's where I made my decisions as to go with Pro as opposed to HD. Uh, for example we're going to be talking a lot about the material graph which is a really nice visual way to kind of mix different aspects of materials together to get one final result and a way to do that in really interesting ways. Uh, Real-time VR rendering and viewing. I'll, I have an HTC Vibe so maybe we'll get into that uh, in future videos. Model sets are very nice for organizing different variants of your models if you're doing a lot of product stuff. The HDRI editor and interactive sun and sky is super cool to play with and having the ability to create your own HDRI images is also super powerful. Um, so that's definitely a plus for me. The geometry editor comes in handy when I want to do things like soften normals or split apart objects within KeyShot and I have to go back into ZBrush to do that. Region rendering is really nice if you want to just kind of limit your render to a really small sample space to get faster results and kind of more rapidly evaluate your render before having the whole scene resin, for example. Uh, render queue is nice. Render passes are really nice. This allows you to automatically break up your render into multiple passes that you can then take into Photoshop for compositing layer later. You use render layers to control that. I don't do this a lot, but in the future I would like to do more camera part and material animations just to kind of make some of my renders a little more producty or a little more eye-catchy with animation. You've also got multiple turntable animations available to you, and with all of the animation ability that you have with Pro comes the output of that, which would be a movie which you have available to you in KeyShot Pro. Uh, so that's the differences that I would use between KeyShot Pro and KeyShot HD. Of course, we'll be covering KeyShot Pro, but you know, if you don't need any of that extra stuff, then KeyShot HD is perfectly fine for you. Now, when you install KeyShop Pro or HD, you're going to get a library of, it says right here, 700 plus material presets and 50 plus HDRI environment presets. So all that's going to come with KeyShot. If you want to get a few more things here, you can go to the resources download assets here and you can download extra KeyShot 7 content. So you can download that here and install it. Basically, that's going to be some extra HDRI environments and textures from Polygon and the environments from Eversus. So now that you've got KeyShot installed, let's go talk about ZBrush and the ZBrush Bridge. Installing the ZBrush Bridge is something you don't even need to do. It automatically installs with ZBrush. What you will have to do is activate it. To do that, you're going to go to Render, External Renderer, KeyShot. So we'll go up here to the Render menu, hop down to the External Renderer, and then choose KeyShot. Now you're going to want to send something over to KeyShot in order for this to work. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hide that menu. You can hit the comma key or click the hide button. And we'll just grab this poly mesh star, drag that on our canvas, go into edit mode here. So now you're going to see when we have preferences, I'm sorry, render KeyShot uh, selected and you hit BPR, which normally would give you a nice sh uh, shadowed BPR render within ZBrush. But because we have KeyShot, external render KeyShot turned on, when you hit BPR, it's going to send your model over to KeyShot. Now, if you haven't activated your bridge yet, so what's going to happen is you're going to get a dialog box that's going to tell you you need a license to run the ZBrush to KeyShot bridge. Um, when you buy it, ZBrush is going to send you, Pixelage is going to send you an email with a link to a Z license. And I just downloaded that. It goes into my PC downloads. 
And you can see that right here, there's my license ZBrush Keyshot Bridge ZLIC. So you're going to navigate to that through the dialog box and double click that. And that'll go ahead and install your license. After you successfully installed your license, what you're going to need to do is activate it. Uh, Windows going to pop up. It's going to uh, goes to a internet web browser, just like when you activated your license of ZBrush itself. You're going to go through the same process to activate this and you'll have numbers to plug in and then copy through. Uh, once that's all activated, now what you can do is again, because we have render Keyshot uh, turned on, it's going to go ahead and send that over to Keyshot. So without having to mess with any importing or exporting or anything like that, it's going to hop right over into Keyshot. And here we got our star and we have Keyshot, all the cool stuff we can do in Keyshot available to us to go ahead and make a really nice render for ourselves.